Hey, welcome to the Sleek Geeks podcast. I'm Adam Spencer. One, I won't say one half. I'm one of the two Sleek Geeks because I don't like to apportion fractions to us, mm-hmm. Carl. But you're the other one of the two Sleek yeah, Geeks. Yeah, the, the two is half of four and four is such a gorgeous number. Well, I was going to say the show brought to us by the number four. I mentioned it really? in, my, in my big book of numbers. Really? Have you written a book? Yeah, I have. What's it called? Um, I'll just have a look on the cover of it here. Yeah? It's called Adam Spencer's Big Book of Numbers. How would I get one? You're best to go to shops at the moment, Carl. They sold out through my website. No. Yeah, they're available in shops as we speak. Ah, but four I mentioned in my big book of numbers. Mm. First number I ever fell in love with. Ah. Uh. Four, because I, 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 I realised exactly what you just said then. Two twos are four. But also two by two is four. Isn't that... What the heck is going on, that's man? That's where your whole squares begin. Yeah. One doubles to two, doubles to four. You can keep doubling. Eight, 16, 32. First time I realised numbers were infinite came from four. But anyway... Anyway, outside of our work with the Sleek Geeks, you do a bit of your own stuff. Uh, you do a lot of stuff, uh, great moments in science, ABC radio, etc. Mm. I wanted to bring you to a post you did recently that went absolutely gangbusters. You put some stuff out there about coconut water, which is all the rage at the moment, mm. and got an amazing response. Let's talk coconut water. Well, yes, it's claimed to fix up everything from sunstroke to syphilis, varicose veins, improve your handwriting, beautify your skin and make your hair able to luxuriantly flow in slow-mo as you walk oh, through the park. Oh, you just got my attention there when you talked hair. What What is coconut water? Okay, um, in the societies that deal with coconuts, they describe it in six different stages. For us, let's just say, when you get a coconut to seven months of age, mm-hmm. that's when it has the maximum amount of liquid inside Mm -hmm. relative to the weight, and that stuff is called coconut water. It's a mostly clear, quite delicious liquid. It's become very trendy lately for people to come home with a coconut that's had the uh, the outer husk taken off it, and there's normally a, a sort of hole already cut mm. in, in where the, t- the, the top sort of bit is sitting the eyes, on. The three eyes, the two little, the one, two little ones and the one big one, yeah. You p- poke that out and then with a, a straw or something you can drink the water Inside And it's um, endorsed by celebrities from Lara Bingle to Madonna, who has, by the way, invested millions in it. Oh, really? There you go. Mm. It, it tastes... It, I've, I, I don't really rate it, but I've had a mouthful oh, of it. Sort it's of fun. Tastes all right. Yeah, I, I like it. But when it was introduced in, for the first time in the USA as a superfood in the early 2000s... Superfood. Superfood. Love the phrase. Yeah, it was claimed to have the power to fight kidney disease, osteoporosis and viruses. All and, at the one time. All, and and nice. as soon as the dietitians, medical doctors and infectious diseases officers got involved, they said, oh, sorry, we didn't mean that. What we meant was it tastes nice, please buy some. (laughs) It's pretty rich in potassium and also contains a few other minerals, but however... Banana and potato contain just as much potassium. When is potato going to be endorsed by celebrities as the next superfood? That's what I want to know. So you're saying nutritionally, co- coconut water is reasonably similar to bananas? Yeah, it is. It's got potassium. And then they're pushing it as a rehydration liquid. Mm-hmm. And for the average person doing a little bit of walking around and running, in, it is, in fact, no better than tap water. However, what about the athlete, the people who push themselves so hard, mm. they are losing huge amounts of sodium. Well, the trouble is that their coconut water does not have enough sodium, so it's not a good rehydrating liquid. If they drink enough to try to get enough sodium in, very quickly they realise that, in fact, coconut water has a mild laxative effect, and so they dehydrate even more from the uh, diarrhoea that they get. We've spoken about this before in the whole general field of sports drinks. There's a lot of those green and purple and red sports drinks mm-hmm. that, that, that are marketed, and people will often, you'll see them sipping them when they're going on what would be at best a, a moderate-paced moderate. walk. Now, mm-hmm. from what I understand with those things, with the electrolytes and everything in them, if you are like playing competitive football on the weekend and driving yourself really and hard. And 20 kilometres in an afternoon, Then yes. throwing one of those down at half-time possibly does... Is essential. ...replenish you faster than just water. Oh, yeah, and replaces the sodium. But for most people, even if you're at the gym on a walking machine or mm. doing some stairs or something, no. you'd be better off drinking the water because there's so much energy in the energy drink, you're going to have undone the benefit, energy in versus energy out of, of the exercise you've done. That's correct? Correct. You, in other words, um, for the average person, totally useless. What you said is 100% correct. Okay, back on to coconut water. So as a rehydrant, as a sports drink, 
not great. Early medical claims about kidneys and the like, they all were... All withdrawn, all withdrawn. But then they thought, oh, well, we've still got the coconut oil. Phase three. And so then you've got it being endorsed by people from Olympic champions to movie stars such as Angelina Jolie. Mm. And once again, it's supposed to control sugar cravings, relieve stress, boost your immunity. Zero compelling evidence. And the odd thing about it is that it's actually incredibly rich in saturated fats. Now, let's just stop for a minute here. At the moment, the overwhelming opinion of the medical doctors, cardiologists and dietitians, etc., is that a bit of saturated fat is no big deal, but we already in Western society have too much anyway, on average. Why have an oil that, besides being twice the cost of olive oil, is about 91% um, saturated fat as compared to olive oil, which is only 14%. It's a complete marketing con. And the way that the celebrities get around this is by saying, oh, oh well, well, okay, in that case, all of medical science is wrong. And saturated <laughs> fats are good for you. Right, solve that one. Thank God for that. And then they say, oh, but here's proof. You can store the coconut oil in your cupboard for two years and it won't go off. That's because it's got saturated fats in it and you go through the biochemistry and it won't go off. And so they're just clutching at straws. So a little bit of saturated fats. Look, I love a bit of butter on the scones that my daughter makes. However, too many saturated fats, overwhelmingly bad by everybody from the United States Food and Drug Administration, World Health Organization, American Heart Association. Tiny, tiny minority view that saturated fats are good for you. But this is, as of 2014, 15, 16, a minority, minority view. Okay, so is there anything left on the list of claims of coconut water slash oil miracle health benefits? Any 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 anything that's looking good for the coconut? At this I point? haven't seen a debunking of the fact that it'll make your hair luxuriantly grow long and move in slow motion as you walk through the park. That one is still undebunked. Okay, but apart from that, not looking great for coconut water? No, and then we'll get some hate mail because of that. By, and people will quote, as they did when we did this on the ABC, they will quote a YouTube video as proof that I'm wrong, as opposed to peer-reviewed scientific medical literature. I'd love some hate mail from Angelina Jolie. That'd be awesome. If you're listening, Angelina, it's just... You're on the Sleek Geeks with Adam and Carl. Into somebody were walking around with clutching a spear with a trim gut and wearing a cute fur bikini. Mmm, very big at the moment, the paleo diet. What are your thoughts? Sleek Geeks.